here. It didn't work. You wanted it so much that the star picked up on it and became confused. You almost tricked it into believing you were the one. The star will come together for the right person. How are you going? The big question is, of course, who is the right person? <laughs> Told you. Running a civilization just isn't my scene. Well, I must say, Sam, if this is what the Queen of the Moon wears, she isn't very fashionable. It's your space helmet. You can't go to the moon without your space helmet. Oh, all right, then. See? I didn't suddenly end up on the moon, did I? I'm not done. And considering it isn't Jason, or Aunt Joss, or Mike. There's only one person it can be now. Yes, Bill Mellop, come on down. Sometimes there are some things that can't be explained Time doesn't stand still and there's nothing that stays Just the way we want it to be Things sure are changing around here Peanuts, cheese, a pineapple, some little cocktail sticks and serviettes. What about fruit for that punch you make? First thing I thought of. Do you think I should whip up some dips? 
We could get a few avocados and mash them into that guacamole or whatever Michael calls it. Yes, Aunt Josie. What a good idea. Oh, no. That'd be great. Ta-da! How's this? Oh, yeah. William, you look like a scruffy old tramp. Uh, thank you. Wasn't meant to be a compliment. Yes, it was. That's what I want to look like. This is a fancy dress party. I don't call that fancy. Oh, well, I think it's all right. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's all right. Hey, could we have a bit more enthusiasm, please? This was your idea in the first place. Sure. Sorry. What are you going as, Aunt Joss? Oh, I haven't decided yet. So far, it's Buffalo Bill and Annie Oakley. Both of them? No, no, she'll just be Annie. And Bernie will be Buffalo Bill. It was his idea, actually. He's very keen to wear cowboy clothes for some reason. Is that Bernie as in dump? Yes. What's wrong with that? Nothing. If he is the grandbaby, which he's got to be, means I'll never see him again. Come on, boy. <laughs> Moon gone! Moon gone! No, it hasn't. It's still there. No! Moon gone! It's daytime, Ralph. You can't see the moon in the day. Only at night. <laughs> moon, moon, home. I know. I wonder how they're coping. Until we do, we're all going to have to look after ourselves for a bit. Which probably means, I think, making our own decisions. Maybe. Right, so um, one at a time, who needs a decision? <laughs> Yemma, yeah, do you help yourself? Can I go to the toilet, please? Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Does anybody want to say yes or no? <laughs> I'm sure they'll be okay for a while. They trapped me, practically tied me to the bed. But you're not the grandbaby. Well, I wouldn't be here if I was, would I? I'd be on the moon wearing nappies. <laughs> Who is it then? The only one it can be is Dad, which is pretty crazy. So I reckon the star must have been off course or something. It's all been a wild goose chase. What do you think? It's a bit boring. Oh, thanks a lot. What are you going to wear then? Hey, I know. What? Yeah, that'll be great. It'll shock a few people. <laughs> Come on. Where are we going? You'll see. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm gonna let you girls have your lunch. No, Sam, I've got to get back to work. See you later. Mm, see you soon. Bye, darling. Bye. Had some good swings here, Sam. Got a hug for your mum? I 
da 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 da. Hi, Joan. Hi. Grandbaby. What? Shh. Nothing. Well, this little lot should make the party get off to a good start. Grandbaby, Grandbaby. Ralph. Have you seen Sam? Right, I'm going back to the nursery. Why don't you lot make this place a bit more party-like, eh? Sure. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on! What is it with you lot today? Anyone would think the world had just ended. Dad, more than I do. We've got to do it, Jason. Test Dad, I mean. Are you sure? We've got our Jossie and each other. The Moonlings don't have anyone. Oh, thank you. I can't. I mean, I know what I mean. <laughs> Did you hear that, Ralph? Think there'll be a new grand baby. We'll be able to go home. The moon home. Moon home. You should wear something different. Something really silly. What? Well, how about throwing together a whole pile of stupid things that don't really go together? Like Jason's baseball cap and Ajax's dog collar, maybe. Sam. What? Ajax's dog collar? She'll be asking you to wear the punch bowl over your head next. Why not? It'd look really funny. Sam, I want to enjoy myself, not balance a punch bowl all night. Anyway, we need it for the punch. But just at the beginning, just when he's saying hello to everyone, then you can put the punch in it. Look, I thought we'd outgrown this Lord of the Moon game. I know I played it with you when no one else would, but you've got to realise it's just too silly. So why not let your father wear what he wants? Because... Because Mum liked us doing things together. And she would have liked me to help Dad choose. And she would have liked Dad to go along with her. That's all. I was just thinking of her. All right. When I get home, you can dress me up. Great, thanks, Dad. Sam. You're right. Your mum would have liked it. I'm glad you still think of her so much. I do, you know. I really do. Let's put some streamers over here. Ooh. Up a bit, like that. Yep. How's that? It's good, it's really colourful. You know, it feels a bit weird. Getting ready for a party when we might never see Dad again. Yeah. It does, doesn't it? <sighs> you don't have to do this, you know. I mean, what about Michael? You haven't even asked him. We haven't had a chance. He hasn't been home, as usual. Oh, wow! Looks great! All we've got to do now is bring the food in from the kitchen. Uh, when's everyone else getting changed? I'm not going to be the only one making a fool of myself. Oh, no, no, we'll change. Uh, we just wanted to finish this lot first. OK. All right, Sam. Show us what you've got for me. It's all in my room. OK, after you. Dad. What? You will phone. 
It's only Sam's room, Jason, not the North Pole. Want to steal it's a motor. been stolen! Someone had stolen them! <laughs> Mom, God, Mom, God, what are we going God. to do? Oh, we'll have to get them back somehow. How? We don't even know who's taken them. Look, what exactly got stolen? My apron. Just your apron? No, and Aunt Josie's old toothpaste, the used one, and Mike's faded old T-shirt, you know, the one he used to wear all... Right, time out! Now, we're obviously not talking grand larceny here, so there's really no need for a reaction of this size, is there? So how about shelving it for a moment and getting ready? Hmm? People start arriving in 20 minutes. I bet it was Mike. Are they in there? Yep. What's well, a look. Wow! It wasn't easy either. Still, we've got them, that's the main thing. Yep. We're gonna have the best outfits at this party by a million miles. <laughs> it can't have been Michael. How do you know? He hasn't been home all day. Yeah, well, he could have sneaked back in. He's taken things before. That was to help Dump. Dump wouldn't want any more of the powers. They've almost run out. It had to be Michael. Maybe he wanted to stop us testing Dad for being the grandbaby. Sam, I bet you a million dollars it wasn't Michael. Well, who is it then? Thank you. It's OK, any time. Oh, I hope this will be the only time. I don't want to make a habit of it. Of what? Breaking into Samantha's chest. Oh, that'd be more than my life's worth if Harmony caught me sticking my nose in her stuff. Well, hopefully when Sam understands why I did it, she won't be so cross. Why did you do it? This dressing up fantasy of hers is really very silly, but she needs to see it for herself. I've been reading about it in my book, The Thinking Mutt. It's quite inspirational. It's about dogs, isn't it? Yes, but Dr. Ken says you need to show them. It's no good just talking. Yeah, but especially when it comes to dogs. Anyway, the point is we have to help Samantha through this fantasy. So how about just whipping off that cowboy outfit and putting this cup in? Me? You do want to help Samantha, don't you? Josie, oh, cocker spaniels are one thing, but children are completely different. The best thing to do is ignore it. No, we need to show her. No, you don't. Yes, we do. You don't. We do. She thinks... That... Josie, I don't care what she thinks. The single best thing to do is ignore it. She thinks there's life on the moon, Bernard. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks that whoever puts this stuff on will become king of the moon. You're right. We have to show her. Give me that. Sure, I've got everything. I think so. What about this? Do I plug it in? I don't know. Still, it's an idea. I'm sure Sam would like it if he did. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm bound to need some sort of a power source. And there's the punch bowl too. You have to wear it upside down over your head like a space helmet. Well, where is it? Actually, it's full of punch at the moment. But don't worry, that'll soon get drunk. Good. Jane? Ralph? What are you doing with the light off? Moon! Home! It'll work out. Somehow. I promise it will. There you go. Mm. And my husband and I think the punch is perfectly delicious. Uh, not bad, is it? <laughs> Hello. Sorry we're a bit late. This is Buffalo Bill. 
No, we had a bit of a rethink, eh? Um, didn't want to be too obvious. Absolutely. Where's Samantha? Uh, not sure. She's around somewhere. Oh, hello there, how are you? Is there somewhere I can plug this in? Uh, I'm not going to turn it on. It's just part of the cosy, see? I, I, it's got to be plugged in. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, sure. Over here. Oh, all right. Oh, Mr. Braithwaite, uh, how are you? Ordner. There you go. Uh, punch bowl's still pretty poor, I see. Yes, help yourself. <laughs> yes, I think I will. Excuse me. Very well, Mr. Dunn. Ah, Mr. Andy, mm. would you be so kind as to move the bowl a little bit closer, please? <laughs> Oh boy, I needed that. Anyone else? No, I think it's everywhere. Look! He's got all the things on. So he has. Doesn't he look silly? Oh, where did you get hold of them? Two cans. We've got to get them out. No, 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 Sam, wait. If we make a scene, they'll be furious. So what? But I thought you wanted people to wear your things. Look, dumb. He does look very silly, doesn't he? I don't care if we do make a scene. We've got to get them back. What if it might get broken or something? Not thirsty he is. Keep it up. I think the therapy's working. That's a punch. He's not thirsty. He knows. He wants to be the grand baby. That's why he's after the punch bowl. But he can't be the grand baby. Can he? No, it can only be someone who was in the house when the star hit. He's just using up the powers. Sam's right. We'd better stop him. <gasps> no, no. What? How do we know he wasn't? Wasn't what? In the house or near it. The star hit on Christmas Eve, right? So? Well, that was the night Dump left all that rubbish on our front lawn. He was here. What are you saying? Grim baby, grim baby. No, not Dump. He was here the night the star hit. Maybe it was aiming for him. Maybe he is the grandbaby. Oh, no! 